What if you fell into Jupiter? Jupiter is a gas giant. There is no solid surface, so what would if you fell into it? Would you just keep falling to the center? What would happen if you wanted to discover it for yourself and jumped right into the planet? Jupiter doesn't have a surface, just a stretch of atmosphere. If you attempted to jump into Jupiter wearing a standard spacesuit, it'd be over for you pretty quickly, you wouldn't even make it to the planet. Roughly 300,000 kilometers, 200,000 miles, from Jupiter, radiation would penetrate your suit and you'd die. So instead, you can have a special spacesuit that can survive the fall, sort of. At first, you'll be falling from the top of the atmosphere at nearly 180,000 kilometers per hour, 110,000 miles per hour. This is a lot faster than you'd fall from the top of Earth's atmosphere because Jupiter's gravity is much stronger than Earth's. You'll still be able to see the sun, but don't expect it to heat you up. At about 250 kilometers, 155 miles, down you'd reach the ammonia clouds and experience minus 150 C, minus 240 F, temperatures. Jupiter's clouds create powerful winds, like whirlpools, up to 482 kilometers per hour, 300 miles per hour. You'd feel as if you were in a tornado because Jupiter is the fastest rotating planet in our solar system. One day on the planet is equal to 9.5 Earth hours. Down a further 120 kilometers, 74 miles, more is the deepest that any exploration has ever sailed into the gas giant. In 1995, NASA's Galileo probe made it this far before it was destroyed by the pressure of Jupiter's atmosphere. The further you travel, the darker it will get, until it's completely pitch black. The only source of light you'll have will be from the lightning storms happening all around you. At this point, the temperature will start to increase, and it might even feel comfortable if it weren't for the immense physical pressure you'll feel. The pressure you'd experience is more than 1,000 times higher than on the surface of the Earth. The only way you'd be able to survive is if your spacesuit was built like the deepest diving submarine of all time. By now, you've been falling for 12 hours. You probably want to radio someone to come and get you, but that's impossible inside Jupiter, since radio waves get absorbed this deep into the planet's atmosphere. You'll just have to keep falling. The temperature will keep rising, and so will the pressure. As you reach the inner layers of Jupiter, there will be parts that you'll be able to swim through. A substance that's known as supercritical fluid. Moving through this strange material, the temperature will get even hotter. Eventually, it'll be equivalent to the surface of the sun. If that isn't enough, you'll also be experiencing pressure equal to 2 million times the pressure on Earth. Metallic hydrogen will begin to form, and you'll be surrounded by it. This relatively unknown substance can be a dense liquid that you won't be able to escape from. If you do manage to escape, you'd be falling through it for thousands of kilometers until you reach Jupiter's core, possibly a solid object. Some scientists predict it is, due to the immense pressure at this level in the planet. If you somehow did manage to survive all this, you'd be stuck from all the atmospheric pressure. Not a great trip. Maybe that's not your best space exploration, so why not watch this video about what will happen if you fell into a black hole next? Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe and comment on future video ideas.